2020 was a strange year. What with a global pandemic, a huge increase in workload, and radio silence on both the forum progress thread and here on YouTube, you could be forgiven for thinking development on Ignite had been extinguished. It's been more than a year since my last developer vlog, so in this entry, I want to sum up my progress on Ignite over the long lockdown months, share some learnings I picked up, and address an elephant that's been lurking in the room much like Ignite's demons lurk in the shadows. My last vlog was about gameplay. It showcased footage from the opening three levels of the game, which I'd rebuilt from the ground up no less than three times before finally arriving at a layout I was happy with. My focus had been on getting various gameplay mechanics working, and sourcing high quality assets to fill the levels. And by May of 2020, I was finally ready to share my first standalone build of the opening three levels of Ignite to a small group of fellow Game Guru developers. And then I built the thing, and it was a disaster. The standalone was plagued with issues, graphical and performance. The third level wouldn't even load most of the time. I'll be honest, this was very demoralising for me, and increasingly I found myself getting sidetracked on other projects. I created a pack of light rays for Game Guru called Volumetrics as a bit of a distraction. I did begin preliminary work on the fourth level of Ignite, but my interest in that quickly waned once I realised I couldn't even get three levels to build correctly. I'd worked solidly throughout the winter and spring to rebuild the game from scratch, but with the failure of that first standalone, I started to flag and began to drift from Game Guru. Lots of people I know found themselves demotivated in 2020. Government mandated lockdown had robbed many people of their jobs, their social lives, and many of their hobbies. Life became a lab experiment, a mass Groundhog Day where nothing seemed to have any purpose. Except, weirdly, I went totally the other way. The spring and summer of 2020 was one of the most creative streaks I've had in years. And I wasn't even furloughed. In fact, the workload of my day job effectively tripled overnight. And yet, in spite of that, or perhaps in defiance of it, I found myself compelled to keep creating in my spare time. I wrote two short film scripts in June and started a weekly FPS creator YouTube retrospective in July. I noticed the footstep. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I started re editing and rebranding old travel videos during the summer and continued to practice my filmmaking and photography throughout August and September. By the end of October, I realised I needed a new reason to get excited about Ignite, so I began toying with a level that didn't take place in a dungeon. But it wasn't long before I got sidetracked again this time modelling a four-poster bed, complete with cloth-simulated curtains. At least it was vaguely for Ignite this time, and gave me a nice excuse to learn a bit more of Blender, which I've been putting off for years. Then, in December, I teamed up with Armin Moses again, to develop a toolset for creating in-game cinematics in GameGuru. CineGuru, as it was eventually known, took three months to develop, and hit the TGC store in March 2021, to glowing reviews attracting the attention of Game Guru's own developers and Machinima Podcast, and now for something completely Machinima. All of which was great, but it was still a distraction from Ignite. At some point, I was going to have to sit down and tackle the fundamental flaws of my first standalone, and that meant learning about optimization. For all the time I'd spent working on the gameplay and making high quality assets, I'd spent almost no time optimising them. This meant my levels maxed out my graphics card very quickly, causing the crashes. To understand the problem better, I spent weeks researching and testing. My main learnings were about texture optimization, how saving your textures in the right format and at the right resolution can save you some serious resources while still looking great in-game. I went on to write about my findings in a lengthy tutorial post on the Game Guru forums, so if you're interested in getting your own games to run better, check that out. Link in the description. With my newfound knowledge, I began the slow, methodical process of optimising every single asset in Ignite, taking the opportunity to upgrade some of them, but mostly increase the efficiency of everything else. I took on board learnings I'd made from playing my first standalone around pacing and level design, and for the fourth time, rebuilt all three levels from scratch, 
moving some of Level 3's puzzles into Level 2, and rewriting almost all of the interaction scripts to rely on the mouse rather than the keyboard. In May of 2021, almost a year to the day since my first standalone build, I shared my second standalone to a small group of friends. It wasn't perfect, but the savings in texture memory were huge, and it ran infinitely smoother. The build also prompted some useful feedback, and threw up some interesting bugs that I hadn't thought of. There was one other major event in 2020 that I haven't touched on. Ignite is being developed in GameGuru, a flawed but engaging game engine developed by the game creators. And in early 2020, they announced GameGuru would be getting a facelift. Originally set to release in September 2020, GameGuru Max promised improved graphics, terrain, an overhauled character creator, and VR features, amongst other things. I was confronted by a choice. Do I port Ignite over to this new engine to take advantage of the improved lighting capabilities of GameGuru Max? Ignite is, after all, all about light, and GameGuru can't do dynamic light very well at all, much less dynamic shadows. Or do I play it safe, stick with GameGuru Classic, and persevere? As you can probably tell from this footage, I chose the latter, and in the short term, it proved to be a wise decision. GameGuru Max has subsequently been completely rescoped and now has an open release date, so who knows when it will be released. It's also currently lacking many of the features fundamental to Ignite, so it's not as simple as porting the game over and clicking build. A GameGuru Max version of Ignite would require extensive rewrites of code, not to mention probably a fifth redesign. And as we have no idea what the performance will be like come version 1, I've decided to stick with GameGuru Classic, which is still getting periodic bug fixes every three months. In some ways, it feels like the development of Ignite has been treading water for a year. And yet, I've learned so much about making and marketing assets, about Blender, about optimization, all of which has directly or indirectly helped Ignite. So no, the project isn't dead, but I probably won't work on it as much over the summer. I do tend to do more video and photography work during the longer daylight hours and sunnier weather, but I am still making slow but steady progress. That might mean it's a while before my next update. So until then, stay safe and thanks for watching.